Would you like to win a copy of the Call of Duty World War 2 beta? If so, subscribe, turn notifications on, comment your platform and don't forget to like. What's going on guys, it's Lukey here again today bringing you all a brand new video and in this video I'm going to be going over all of the Call of Duty World War 2 guns, modes and score streaks that were at the E3 multiplayer reveal. So stay tuned and let's dive straight into it. We shall be kicking things off straight with the score streaks. A lot of people want to know the guns as well. So we're going to score streaks, guns, and then the game modes. Because everyone sort of... All the game modes are going to be similar in all the Call of Duties. But anyway, the first score streak we have is the Recon Aircraft, which is a UAV. It's been in Call of Duty for donkey's years now. It's not changed exactly the same. Just a slightly better name of the Recon Aircraft. So that's the UAV. Now we have the counter recon aircraft, which is the counter of the recon aircraft, which is just a counter UAV. Again, been in Call of Duty for a long time, so not much else there. And these are all the um, score streaks, weapons, and modes confirmed in Call of Duty World War 2 at the moment. There will be more, obviously, but I'm going over the ones that have been confirmed and that were the E3 multiplayer reveal. Next, we have the flamethrower. Now, loads of people have seen gameplays about the flamethrower, absolutely shitloads of people, and it does look like a beast kill streak. It's sort of roughly about the care package sort of kill, so about 5 6 kills in a team deathmatch to get it, so about 500 or 600 score. So, not too much, and it can put in some work if used at the sort of the right time. And I'm about to get my Wraith here, but unfortunately, I think I choked my wraps the first time. I think I get this gameplay. I get like a double wraps, uh, double wraith, and a set of wraps. And the next gameplay you're gonna see, I get a double wraith, and once again, check my wraps. But first things first, or next things next, we have the flamethrower. Obviously, a lot of you have seen the gameplay. Just gone over that. Now, next we have the fighter pilot, which is just the fighter pilot. I think that's the kill streak where, if any of you have seen it, you open the map. And then you just pick a location, and then it's like where it looks like the planes coming down and firing. I think that's that kill streak. I'm not too sure, so don't quote me on it. But that is roughly the same sort of score as the care package or the flamethrower, which is, I mean, not too bad, and it can be used in an effective way if the map's open, I guess. Next, obviously, we have the care package, which we all know and love. Now, there's a thing with the care package that is actually pretty insane. So normally with a care package it will just fall down to the sky, not really much you can do about it in terms of speed so you call it in, you got to wait till it actually hits the ground to sort of start capturing your uh, care package but with the Call of Duty World War 2 care package, uh uh, you don't have to do that, no. And watch this death right here, okay, I, I, I'm in disbelief, I thought he shot the raps and the raps killed me but evidently not, but anyway. So, with the care package now in Call of Duty World War 2, you can actually shoot the parachute it's coming down on, and it lands faster, which is absolutely insane. If you're, like, coming close to big set of streaks, and, like, you want to UAV or something, you want to get it fast, you can just shoot it down. I mean, I think it's a pretty good idea, add some realism, but they're also planning on doing it to the paratroopers, so I'm not sure about that. If you don't know what paratroopers are, I'll cover it in a separate video, maybe, but... That's the gear package. Next we have the Mortar Strike. Now I'm assuming the way the Mortar Strike will work is you pick a certain location and it gets fired upon that location. Sort of like a lightning strike from Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 2. I'm assuming it'll be something like that. I'm not too sure. Next we have Flat Guns and I've got no idea what this is. Absolutely no idea. And then there's going to be a part, we're just about to switch gameplays now, and there's a part where, just to my left up here, up that top, there is about f four or five of the opposition players, just all sat there, and somehow, I have no fucking idea how I survived, but I survived nevertheless, I mean, I was, I was like, Jesus Christ, and that's when I went on to get my wraps. I couldn't believe how lucky I got. I mean, some people wish for the luck I got. I mean, fucking hell. It was crazy. The flat guns, um, no idea what they are. Could be a, a good kill streak. Could not. 
It sounds pretty beast at the moment, so we'll just have to see. Next, we have the paratroopers, and everyone knows that what the paratroopers are. They were shown in the original multiplayer reveal. They're just basically, you call them in, sort of like the attack dogs of Call of Duty World War II. Obviously, they don't have dogs confirmed yet. They could have dogs, but I'm not too sure. So, all the paratroopers is, is basically, you call them in, and they come down in parachutes. Hence the name para troopers because they're troops coming from a parachute so i don't need to explain that to all you're all smart enough to know that um next we have the ball turret now what this turret is is i think it's in a plane and this is sort of the shit you don't mess around with so you're in a big ball as it's called a ball turret and you're literally raining down the opposition like a fucking a, a machine gun you're raining down on them and look there we go choke my rats 50 off but get my wraith about to get a double wraith and another set of wraps or a set of wraps at least and get some real sloppy deaths as well could have been a really really amazing gameplay if I like one map I, one death I fell off so pretty sloppy shit get a three piece here POW! slap that bitch anyway so the ball turret gunner all it is is basically you're in a plane and you're just shooting down on the enemy really good really good kill streak sounds like it also sounds quite a lot like the chopper gunner from uh, black ops 1 no one, if, if no one's said that on my channel, then there's gonna be shitloads of gameplays out there. But the Chopper Gunner was a really effective kill streak and a really good kill streak. But next, we are moving on to the guns, and then we'll be moving on to the sort of map. There we go. Watch out. How the fuck did I survive that? But anyway, we'll be moving on to the guns next. So, first things first, we have the M1 Grand. All assault rifles can be found in the infantry division now. I can't tell you whether these guns are good or not because I've never actually... I, I wasn't shipped out to the E3 reveal until, unlike some of the YouTubers. But I can tell you what the guns are and I mean you can sort of see gameplay for yourself and speculate for yourself whether you think they're good. But first we have the M1 Grand which is in the infantry division which is basically the assault rifle division. Then we have the BAR assault rifle and that once again is in the infantry division. I do not know sort of how the, the guns do look good the bar looks better than the m1 grand the m1 grand at a slightly longer range looked like it was a bit it th got threw off a bit but i haven't actually played the game yet so i can only convey to you guys what i've seen next we have the airborne division obviously the airborne division is for submachine guns and you can attach suppressors to all the weapons that were available in the multiplayer reveal so it could not be all the weapons when the game is actually out so but so far all the weapons that were in the sort of alpha stage were available to put suppressors on and that was the thompson m1928 which is sort of like a tommy gun which looked really good but the mp40 did trump it obviously everyone knows what the mp40 was i think it came back to advanced warfare and black ops 3 i'm not sure but my streaks are just going hamburgers i think that's one of the one things i want in Call of Duty World War 2 is Hambo Streaks as like I said there I fall off the map real sloppy death could have been an even insane gameplay but I fucked up anyway so Airborne Division holds all the subs and you can attach suppressors to the Thompson and the MP40 next we have the Armoured Division which is Armoured Big Heavy Armour which holds LMGs and we have the Lewis and we have the MG15 the MG15 was insane that was sort of the gun with the two ball sacks on the side and like the little crosshead and the circle that looked insane next we have the mountain class which holds the sniper rifles which we have the first one we have the M1903 and the car 98 iron sights that's in the mountain class sort of mountains trying to jump up into the air sort of shit that sort of sounds good. The car, uh, the car 98 with iron sights, does sound like a pretty good weapon. But the M1903 has been sort of linked to Springfield, so we have to see that. Modes that are confirmed: War Mode, Domination, and Team Deathmatch. Just as you know, guys, standard shit. I mean, I, I was personally expecting that. I don't know about you guys, but Team Deathmatch and Domination have been in Call of Duty for, like, centuries now. Well, obviously not centuries, but it's an exaggeration, but it has been in Call of Duty for the longest time known to man now. So, like, sort of, your Team Deathmatch, Domination, Search and Destroy, you can basically all confirm them. I mean, they might just do something absolutely insane and not, just not even put them in the game, which would be 
would be something different, I've got to say, but I don't think they'll do that. I think that's what they're going to do. They're going to be at least three confirmed maps or modes, which will be, you know, everyone, everyone knows that. Domination, TDM, all of, everyone sort of gets that. I get my raps here, I think. Do I get my raps? Nope, check my raps, but... Anyway, that has been the video. I'll just go over all the kill streaks once again. So we've got the recon air draft, which is the aircraft, which is the UAV. The counter recon aircraft, which is the counter UAV. Flamethrower, fighter pilot, care package, mortar strike, artillery barge, flat guns, paratrooper, ball turret. Then we have the infantry in the division. So the assault rifle division is in the infantry division, and that's the M1 Grand and the BAR assault rifle. Airborne division is the submachine gun division, and that is the Thompson and MP40. Then we have the armored division, which is the LMGs, and we have the Lewis and the MG5. From what I've heard, the MG5 is, a, or the MG15, sorry, is a really, really good weapon. Then we have the mountain class, which holds all the sniper rifles, the M1903, which people have been relating to the Springfield, and then we have the Lewis. Uh, the car 98 iron sights which is a pretty good gun as it's sort of self-explanatory it only has iron sights it doesn't actually have a sniper scope and then we have the, the most domination war mode in team deathmatch so far that we 100% know of but like I said earlier on I cannot see them at all taking out search and destroy or other similar game modes they'll probably keep in hardpoint they'll probably keep in kill confirmed but this is just speculation they might not do it, but I can. More, I'm more than likely. I more than likely do think that they will. But that has been the video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. I appreciate every single one of you and all the support I've been getting over the last few videos. As I said, loads of comments, loads of likes, loads of subscriptions. I appreciate it. We're pushing on for 150 subscribers. So if you subscribe, send me a picture. Tweet. My Twitter will be on the screen now. Two underscores. Follow me on that. Tweet me, and I will retweet your tweet, follow you and sort of give you a thank you for being part of what I'm doing. So I just want to say that. I appreciate every single one of you. But that has been the video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe. This is Luki and I am out. Peace.